I fight for principles. I fight for causes. This country will get to understand me at some point. I know that for sure, as I'm sure that day follows night. That was part of the message of DC Party President Major General Mugishamon to deliver to delegates in his concession speech on Wednesday night after losing the race for the party's 2016 presidential flag bearer to his prior new rival, Dr. Kiza Besche. Over the years, General Monto has been criticized for using an elitist approach on a population that is largely rural and illiterate. As such, his critics say he has failed to appeal to an audience yearning for an alternative to President Yoram Seveni. But Monto disagrees. They are free to think the way they think is their choice, is their independence. For me, I keep concentrating on the things that I think need to be done. And with time, the world will judge. The former army commander calls for a radical shift in the thinking in the Ugandan population so that they can vote leaders based on the actions instead of what they say. My intention is to ensure that we change that political culture in the country. The only way we can change that political culture is through change, building a new political culture within the party organization because the parties are the vehicle through which the country, the country is governed. General Monto, who has now lost thrice to his former Bushwa comrade, Kano Besje, says he will continue from where he stopped in strengthening the party and its structures. I'll continue in activities of strengthening the party. Ensure that we continue uh, strengthening the party in terms of uh, filling up gaps where they are, where they are in structures. Dr. Besje defeated Monto by a 429 vote margin. Now, his critics say he should step down as party president since he failed to win the confidence of delegates, yet he has been their leader since 2012 when Bester cut his term short. I don't think it was uh, a vote of no confidence in me as a party president. However, I would really have no problem if, for example, there was a vote of no confidence from any area of, within the party, if people were dissatisfied with what I do, if they raised the vote of no confidence. I will manage it in a fair, free, open, transparent manner. But the figures show that General Monto has been steadily gaining against Besje since 2009 when he first challenged him for the FDC presidency. Then Besje defeated Monto hands down with 656 votes against 53. In 2010, Besje garnered 728 votes while Monto obtained 115 votes. On Wednesday night, Monto managed 289 votes against Bester's 718, 10 less than in 2010. Throughout his campaign, General Monto emphasized one thing. FDC must unite and craft one message if they are to win the 2016 elections. We then ask what he thinks could have cost him this election. No, I'm not going to go into that right now, to be honest with you. It's over, it's past. I have to keep moving. The election seemed to have reopened once from the 2010 FDC presidential vote with some senior party officials like Amanyam Shiga, Vice Chairperson for Buganda Joyce Sebgwao and Ruchiga MP Jack Saviti publicly proclaiming their allegiance to different leaders. Yeah, that goes with the territory of leadership. <laughs> I have to meet that challenge and ensure that I do things to ensure that we maintain party harmony, party cohesion, because I know that uh, that creates strength. You can't have strength if you are divided. In what was seen as a true measure of statesmanship, Monto graciously conceded defeat and pledged to throw his weight on the party machinery behind Dr. Kiza Besje. Shilandwuchere, NTV.